Pedro Acosta's meteoric rise in MotoGP has ignited excitement and admiration. With a recent standout performance at the Grand Prix of the Americas, the Red Bull Gas Gas Tech 3 prodigy has captured the attention of former champion Jorge Lorenzo, who lauds Acosta's blend of talent and technical prowess. As accolades pour in, Lorenzo's insights shed light on Acosta's potential and the challenges he must navigate in the unforgiving world of motorcycle racing. Each new appearance of Pedro Acosta in MotoGP attracts more admiration, and his recent performance at the Grand Prix of the Americas almost reached epic heights. The young driver from the Red Bull Gas Gas Tech 3 team shone with his mastery, taking control of the race before finally placing second. This feat did not fail to captivate Jorge Lorenzo, former MotoGP champion who shared his impressions during the Dura La Vita podcast. Jorge Lorenzo, who was full of praise for the rookie, reiterated his previous predictions regarding the potential of Acosta. I said, if everything goes well and he doesn't have any bad luck, he will be ready to win in Jerez. The kid almost beat me and almost won in Austin. The former pilot highlights not only the raw talent of Acosta, but also its ability to rise to the top of the rankings in favorable circumstances. However, with great power comes great responsibility, and Lorenzo warns Acosta against the risks of overconfidence. The only thing that can stop this guy's progress is a serious accident, and this is what he must control. Overconfidence. These words highlight the importance of caution in a sport where risks are omnipresent. Pedro Acosta is technically more prepared than the others. Jorge Lorenzo also emphasized on motorcycle sports, the exceptional level of technical preparation of Acosta, a distinctive advantage that separates it from its rivals. This guy is technically more prepared than the others. The KTM is a very nervous motorcycle, and moreover, he lacks experience, which is very important in MotoGP. He concludes with optimistic anticipation of the future performance of Costa. It makes the difference on the KTM. When he adds the experience, you will see where he is. These reflections of Jorge Lorenzo not only celebrate the early achievements of Acosta, but also put into perspective the challenges and expectations the young rider will have to manage to capitalize on his exceptional talent and successfully navigate the competitive world of MotoGP. Jorge Lorenzo has praised him more than once and spoke highly of the rookie once again. What Pedro is doing is a mix of them all. He has a bit of charisma and sparkle, the off-track naturalness of Valentino Rossi, in his own way, because he's not the same. He is quite warm, has that impertinence, and thinks big without being afraid of anyone. And, for example, unlike Marc Marquez, he doesn't like to crash much, because if you notice, he's not crashing much, and that's the difference between them. However, Lorenzo believes that Acosta has similarities to Marquez, and also Casey Stoner, in terms of riding style. He also has things from Marquez, because he has a lot of heart. He has a bit of Stoner. He reminds me a lot physically in terms of riding. The body posture on the bike is very similar to his. In fact, if you put Stoner's suit and bike on him, it would be difficult to tell them apart. But he has a bit of them all. Pedro Acosta is a racer who believes in aiming high. He has two quotes on his helmet that reflect his philosophy of life. The first quote is, If you aim incredibly high, even if you fail, you will go much further than you ever imagined. The second quote is, Aim for the moon. Even if you fail, you will land among the stars. According to Acosta, the deeper meaning of the second quote is that if you aim straight ahead, you won't get very far. But if you aim incredibly high, even if you fail, you'll go much further than you ever imagined. These quotes are not just words for Acosta. They are guiding principles that shape the way he approaches competition and life. They illustrate an ambition that goes beyond the framework of racing, pushing him to constantly surpass himself, whatever the circumstances. In a world where pressure and expectations can crush even the most promising talents, Pedro Acosta navigates with a confidence that seems almost predestined, fueled by these principles that guide each of his laps. 
it'd be an understatement to say that Pedro Acosta has made waves in his debut MotoGP season. The 19-year-old has surpassed expectations and, after just three rounds, already podiumed with the junior Red Bull-led Gas Gas Tech 3 team. And he's sitting pretty in fourth in the overall points. There's still a lot of racing to do, but given Acosta is also already far ahead of both Red Bull KTM's Jack Miller and Brad Binder, the supposed headliners of the Red Bull team, it's led many to ponder whether rumors of Acosta being bumped up to Red Bull KTM midseason could prove true. And indeed, there is precedence, along with a contract that theoretically allows for it. But Pitt Byrer, Red Bull's team principal who oversees the two outfits, has thrown cold water on such rumors. Pedro's achievements are an absolute highlight. But no, that is not an option for us, Bayer told Motorsport Magazine. That's pretty definitive if you ask us. However, as mentioned previously, Acosta, Binder, Miller, and Augusto Fernandez have a contract where any of the riders can be swapped from one team to the other. All our four drivers in MotoGP have work contracts, so you are not tied to a specific team. We always plan and think with these four places in the MotoGP, so contractually, there is no hurdle to change anything," said Beira to the outlet. But he went further to tamp down rumors, stating, Nevertheless, it is completely absurd to think about such changes during the season. Is this a case of he doth protest too much, though? Red Bull has never shied away from controversial driver changes. In Formula One, it's dropped and brought in drivers pretty quickly through seasons if the driver isn't gelling or the team isn't getting what was promised. It happened with Verstappen ages ago, along with Alex Albon, Daniel Ricciardo, and more. For what it's worth, I personally don't see it happening. Red Bull isn't afraid of making enemies with power moves, but Acosta is doing good right now. And he's still part of the Red Bull team. Why change what's working? At the end of the day, let him go with all the exuberance of a 19-year-old with zero fear. It might just net them a championship if he keeps this up, even if it's in the brand's junior squad. Acosta expressed confidence in his bike's performance, but he emphasized that he still needs to determine his competitiveness on a new circuit for him in MotoGP. He said that even though he feels stronger when his bike is working well, he still has many questions to answer. Although the previous weekend in America was good overall, he doesn't know how he will perform in Jerez, and he needs to remain calm to find out. The rookie also acknowledged that he expects to face an additional opponent this weekend, Danny Pedrosa, who will be a wildcard entry. He said that Pedrosa will be one more rival instead of a help, but he's excited to ride alongside him. If you found today's video informative, please show your support by giving us a thumbs up subscribing to our channel, and turning on notifications for future updates. Let us know your opinions in the comment section below.